Hello everyone, it's Mark here, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of my favourite, favourite techniques, and that is rosary linking. Now, in front of me I've got a selection of my pieces that I've made from, from past projects, and it was just to show you how versatile this technique is. So if I start from the top here, I'm this is one of my most delicate pieces. This is using Amazonite pips. And because the drill holes are so small, I've had to result to using 0.4 millimeter wire to do my rosary linking with. It's still very strong, so don't be put off by its delicateness. So that's using tiny little pips. Then the other extreme, I've used Botswana agate. Now I've used eight millimeter rounds and 16 millimeter on here. And the wire that I've used is 0.6 millimeter gauge on this one. Then mixing it up a little bit, I've gone for my birthstone. So this is amethyst, dog tooth amethyst, in large round ovals, rounds, and these tiny delicate little seed pearls, just to add a bit of difference. So you can see same technique, but completely different look. Now this one I'm going to bring up here is one of my favorite pieces, and this is using fossil jasper. And these are amazing squares. And again, in between, I've popped some little seed pearls just to break the necklace up a little bit. Now I've used a clasp on this one. So it's a, it's a put on and off with a clasp piece of jewelry. This next piece, which is Amazonite and Labradorite, is a 360 necklace. So it's a continuous loop of rosary linking. And as you can see, the, the Amazonite and the Labradorite work beautifully together. Once again, I've used 0.6 millimeter gauge wire to make the links, and this is long enough to be placed straight over the head without having a clasp. So if you um, are making it for a gift with somebody with dexterity problems or who live on their own who find it difficult to pop on a clasp, this is a really nice technique, the 360 degree loop just to place over the head. And then this is one of my ultimate favorite shapes, the five petal flowers, and this is Mookite incorporating 12 mil rounds and these five petal flowers and I've gone for a gold colored wire in this necklace instead of the conventional silver so just have a play with play around with your with your wire stash and your your gemstones and just um, have a mix and match with colors etc so what do we need to rosary link so ideally the wire of choice that I use is 0.6 millimeter but obviously some beads, you won't be able to get that gauge through the, the smaller drill holes. So if that's the case, then resort down to your 0.4 millimeters, as we saw earlier with the little Amazonite pips. So this is a rose gold color. But as I said, just um, match your wire color with your stones you're using. And I tend to, when I'm starting my rosary linking, just, just cut off pieces about 30 centimeters long. It'd make it really nice and simple to, to make. And the beads that I've chosen for this particular necklace are, we've got some 14 millimeter lava kites, we've got some 12 millimeter hematite, these are faceted, then we've got 10 millimeter rounds of hematite, and then we've got a few of our little rutile quartz, and these are in six millimeters. So again, have a, have a mix and match. And I felt that the, these, the grays and the blacks and the, the monochrome tones goes beautifully with the copper. So they're the, they're the pieces we're going to be using. And we're going to be making this necklace here. Now, as you can see, this is a 360 over the head, long line lariat. And again, as you can see, when it's all made up, it does look absolutely beautiful. So that's going to be the aim once I've shown you how to, to rosary link. And you only basically need three types of tool. You need your flat nose pliers, you need round nose pliers, and flush cutters. If you only have your basic wire cutters, that's absolutely fine. The reason I use flush, use flush cutters is because it's got a very fine point and you can get right in to cut away your excess wires. So let's make a start. I'm going to show you first of all how to make a rosary link and then how to make a rosary chain. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we've previously cut off our length of wire and as I've mentioned it's about 30 centimeters long. Pop those out of the way a second. And then we're going to take our round nose pliers and if you if you might have a problem making sure that your loops are exactly the same size every link you make, you can actually mark 
your pliers with a black marker pen and uh, you'll be um, guaranteed then that your loops will be the same size every time. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've got our piece of wire. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the wire in my left and I'm holding it in my index finger and my thumb with a tail of about an inch, two and a half centimetres from the top. I'm going to place my round nose pliers in, uh, between five and six millimetres is a nice size loop. And I'm going to take this little tail and I'm going to fold it towards me all the way over to the left of the longer piece of wire and away from me. So when I take it off my plier, can you see I have, just place it nice and flat, I have a loop with a crossover wire and a right angle. That's what we need every time. Then we're going to take our flat nose pliers and instead of placing the plier through the loop, we're going to hold the loop within the plier. So can you see where the two wires cross? Just there. We're going to take our pliers and we're going to hold that loop just to the right of where the wires cross. And then we're going to take that short tail and we're going to wrap it three times. So that's once, twice, three times around our longer wire. So now you can see we've got a little coil, we've got our loop and then we've got our excess wire. So we're just going to take off cutters and we're going to take off that excess wire, like so. So that's the first part of our link. So next we need to choose our bead. So I'm going to go for the 10 millimeter hematite. So I'm just going to roll one of those across. Just going to thread it on. Can you see the, the 0.6 millimeter goes on very easily on the hematite there. And slide that down and then to do the second part of the link I'm going to place my pliers again same position on the plier and I'm going to leave the same amount of space between the bead and my plier as we left at the beginning to have our little coil on and then I'm just going to manipulate it so I have the bead near me I'm going to take the longer tail I'm going to bring it towards me over the pliers and then I'm going to veer to the left and while I've still got that ply in my hand, I'm going to start wrapping once, twice, three times. I'm just going to manipulate the loops so they're facing in the same direction. And then with your flush cutters or your wire cutters, I'm just going to go in and cut nice and neatly the wire. Place that to one side. And then if you want to, you can then go in with your flat nose pliers and just tuck that little tail in. You can go in there and then just straighten up your link. So that is your rosary link. To make a chain, all we're going to do is we're going to repeat the first part of the process. So we're going to take our round nose pliers, same position on the plier, tail of about an inch. We're going to bring the wire towards us, all the way over, bypassing to the left, the main wire. We're going to take it off the pliers, so we have our initial loop and our right angle, as we had before. We're going to go in with our pliers to the right of the cross, but before we do that, we need to pop on our link. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our link, we're going to slide it on, and we're going to manipulate it so it sits and hangs nice and loosely in that loop we've just made. Flat nose pliers to the right of the cross, wrap three times. That's once, twice, three times. Okay, now that link is nice and secure. We're going to go in with our flat nose pliers, we're going to cut it off, then we're going to pop on our next bead. So let's go for one of these little six millimeter rounds. So we're going to place that on our wire. We're going to slide it down. We're going to place our pliers, same position. Leave a little gap in between your bead and your plier. Bring the wire towards me. I'm going to veer off to the left, holding onto those pliers nice and tightly and wrap once, twice, three times, like so. That's it, just give it a little straighten. Straighten your loop. Go in and cut off our wire. And then we're going to go back in and we're just going to give it a little tuck. Tuck that tail, it's nice and neat. Like 
So, okay, so that's our rosary chain starting. So I'll do one more. So we take our wire, place it in our pliers, inch tail, bring towards me, over the top, bypassing to the left. We have our right angle with a loop, swap pliers to the right of where the wires cross, three times, just once, twice, three times. We're going to go in and cut off our tail. We're going to place on our bead. Now what I've done, purposefully, is to point out that if you accidentally close your loop before you attach it to your chain you started making, you can do it in reverse. So I'm going to leave a little gap, place in my plier. I'm going to take my wire over the top. I'm going to slide it off my plier, keeping the loop inside. I'm going to take my chain. I'm going to add it to the wire and I'm going to place it down. Flatten those pliers in and then I can go in and do my three wraps. So if you happen to close your loop before you attach your chain, you can do it at the end of your piece as well. So, so don't worry about having to redo each of your links. So as you can see, it attaches beautifully. So this is your rosary linking. That's the beginning. And then this was my completed piece. So as you can see, it makes the most amazing, amazing necklace. This is over the head. Uh, I've used about 60 beads altogether, but there's nothing stopping you from just um, making an 18 or a 20 inch necklace and popping on a clasp. So that's my introduction to rosary linking. Um, one word of warning, it is incredibly addictive. It's one of my favourite techniques and, uh, and I rosary link whenever I can. So give it a go. Hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing some of your pieces very soon. Bye bye.